last year, Korea's total fertility rate was 0.81, the second lowest in the world. It was a second after Hong Kong. The population is expected to decline to 38 million by 2070. Young people spend a lot of their money on housing every month. They give up many things, such as a school, marriage, and childbirth, in order to survive. Meeting people also cost money, so they reduce the number of meetings. This makes it even more difficult to get married and have children. However, there is a fundamental reason why more young people do not marry. Generation C refers to those aged 15 to 26 who were born between 1996 and 2007. The criteria for choosing a romantic partner is in the order of appearance followed by personality. In the previous generation, Generation X, Personality was an important criterion. However, as the younger generation increases, appearance becomes more important. A Generation X post-war millennials looks aren't just about being born. They value the importance of self-management, the ability to cultivate Innate attractiveness. They are accustomed to investing in themselves for this. A job that was traditionally considered important, or one's economic power was rapidly pushed out of the rankings. Age, humor, code, and health, which were not seen in other generations appeared in the top five. In particular, the AG item said even if there is a one-year difference, there is a generational difference. Even within the 20s and 30s, the generation gap widens. The tendency to make quick judgments about love was also prominent. One other Three generation C and millennial has a dating period of more than two weeks and less than one month. Generation X is to the three months old. For both generation C and millennial, it was significantly shorter from two weeks to one month. It seems that Flooding stories can now only be seen in works such as literature and movies. Generation C's attitude toward dating and sex is also different from previous generations. In particular, it looks at love and sex from a more realistic point of view. And after that, unlike in the past, it does not focus on building committed and romantic relationship. Rather, they seek new ways to satisfy their needs and needs that fit their lives. Addresses needs such as sex, intimacy, and companionship, but the relationship doesn't allow less strong. It deviated much from the traditional notion of exclusive and devoted relationships. Don't worry about the development of relationships right now. Then thus are reluctant to establish relationships or 
even acknowledge their desire to develop them, hiding one's heart is not necessarily a characteristic of young people uh, these days. Then just uh, particularly reluctant to share their emotions. Also, unlike the past, the younger generation intentionally does not value dating in many cases. Faced with the economic instability, along with the climate crisis, soaring inflation, and political and social upheaval, the younger generation participates in more social movements and prioritizes seeking personal, professional, and financial stability, find their romantic or sexual identity while taking care of the rest of their life may be the best option. This phenomenon diversifies the range of choices. Relationships also have instability and risk. In theory, there's a lot of honesty when two people openly show what they really want and agree to terms and conditions. But in practice, it can be difficult to reconcile the priorities of the two. It can end badly when they want different things. Most often, this happens when only one party wants a committed relationship. Afraid of change, it can end without a proper conversation. If it is my choice, my decision, my happiness, and it suits me very well. I feel at easy, and uh, if I feel this path is right, I don't worry about the outcome.